So for many, the scenario of the phone call from the old college friend isn't particularly helpful in brainstorming little victories. It just doesn't always apply uh, in every instance. So I want to give you another one that maybe isn't as, you know, isn't as emotional. I want you to imagine that you're at some type of a gathering, right? Maybe it's for a nonprofit that you support or something like that. And it's, it's a gathering or a fundraiser. And so You've got a bunch of people from all different walks of life, all who are unified by this same, you know, charity or nonprofit organization, and they're all in this room together, and everybody's eating the same rubber chicken, you know, with the funky, you know, green beans, and you're all there because you're supposed to give money, and they're supposed to feed you, and therefore the meal is terrible, right? We've all been to these things. So you're sitting down at this table with a bunch of people that you don't know, your one unifying thing being this, this nonprofit, so people are going to talk. You're going to have a casual chat and invariably people are going to say, you know, so what do you do? What do you do? What do you do? And I want you to imagine that in sitting there, you reveal, you state your statement of value. You just come out right out and you say your statement of value. You know, yeah, I'm, I'm Bob. Um, I, own a, I own a back pain clinic and you go right into it. You state your statement of value. Now, as soon as you do that, I want you to imagine that across the table, just catty corner from you, someone just stares at you. Like they just lock eyes with you and you're a little bit freaked out because you're wondering like, do I owe this person money, right? You're just a little bit creeped out because you're not entirely sure why this person is staring at you and they keep staring at you and it keeps getting creepier and you keep trying to not acknowledge them, but they just won't go away. So then there's a break in the festivities. Everybody kind of gets up to go get dessert or, you know, go to the silent auction or again, whatever you do with those things. And all of a sudden this person gets up and they sit down at the seat right next to you and now you're really creeped out, right? But then they lean over and they whisper in your ear and say, hey, I heard you say that you have a back pain clinic. And I've had back pain for about 20 years. You think your deal could help me? Again, in that scenario, and assuming you don't have a back pain, like you say what you say, your ideal customer comes and sits down right next to you. There you are in that moment, in that scenario, what are you going to say to them so that they go, whoa, okay, awesome. What are you going to say to them to give them a little victory, to give them hope, right? You got somebody there, they're a little bit creepy, you want to make them feel better so that they'll go and sit back down in their seat. What are you going to say to them? Well, if I own that back pain thing, I'd say, look, I know this is a little bit weird. You mind standing up and crossing one leg over the other and reaching around, doing a stretch. Okay, stand up. How do you feel? Feel better? Okay, that's going to go away, but I'll tell you, I think our stuff would work for you, right? See how that, that fits into that scenario. So Again, perhaps that scenario uh, is, is helpful, maybe it isn't, but it's another resource that you can use to brainstorm some little victory uh, tripwires for your particular market.